I did it. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Rebecca Snowden. I'm a senior at Scott Catholic. I like your words! <laughs> <laughs> and this poem is titled Midnight Chess. November 8th, 2016. I can't fall asleep. A friend has texted me to talk her out of suicide, trapping me in a chess match with my messages. The only pieces I have left are pawns. There is no king on my side of the board. Instead, I am doing everything in my power to keep her playing this game already over to stay out of check. I don't want her crown to fall. She tells me that she is scared, tells me that there are people in her community who know who she was before she felt comfortable being a she, before she could slip skin and hide. I tell her to go to sleep, sleep and dream, and when morning comes, you can forget. She tells me that I should too, but we both know we can't. Each night, after every hardship has thrown itself onto our bodies, we unpack our chessboard, set the pieces up on autopilot and start the clock running, trade turns as we try to make winners out of the other side, place pieces in squares where we know the other will have to take them, knowing that sooner or later we can play until the moon stops shining without ever coming within two spaces of each other. So I wait up. We keep avoiding taking each other's pieces, still treading this minefield ground of black and white in front of us. I tell her everything is all right. I don't mention the future. That's not how you hold someone. You stall instead, waiting timers out to their near end before making a play. We fight to keep our eyelids open to see the moon rise, that same space rock lighting the night sky bright above us both, our own personal lighthouse. I tell her I won't go to sleep until she shows me proof that she's called a hotline. It's her move. She snaps me that quick flicker of hope, a shooting star next to our guiding light, her landline dialing one, eight, 1-800-273-1-800-273-1-800-273-8255, 1-800-273-8255-1-800-273-8255-1-800-273-8255, 1-800-273-8255, ain't too hard a fire to fight, and we fight, we fight hard, hold our breath, push force, move forward, and wait for the clocks to run down. After the proof, I tell her good night. I say, sleep tight. I pray, don't lose this fight. Keep that moonlight close as we pack up our chess game, putting all pieces back under the bed as though this game were never played. We sleep, or I sleep. I can only assume she did too. The chessboard sits silent on top of floorboards under broken down bodies and bed frames. The clocks are stopped. When I wake, I see the shadow of chess pieces lit from behind by the morning sun. And I know. I always know we made it through again.